Hello and a big welcome back to the We Laura channel. Today we're going to be, be, be making a delicious creamy Irish potato soup. So you are going to pause at these lovely ingredients here. Now if you're on a health kick this January then you can also use uh, um, lower fat um, bacon for this recipe. You could also try using semi skimmed milk although it won't be as thick as whole milk and you can just remove the double cream from this recipe. So if you're watching the calories you can do those things otherwise just go for it. This recipe is so delicious and creamy and it's lovely with the salty bacon pieces on top. So we're going to get started by adding in our butter into our pan and we're just going to melt that down there. We're then going to add in our bacon and we're going to cook that through and we are going to just separate the rashers as well. Now I do actually wash my hands in between using raw meat just so that you do that yourself. Um, it's just the way that I edit my videos. It makes it look like I haven't washed my hands. <laughs> um, so we're going to cook our bacon down there in our pan and we are then going to add in our onions and we're just going to cook those two things together just to get all the flavors out of the bacon as well so you want to go for like the smoked um streaky bacon if you can and um, just so that it adds a little bit extra flavor if you can't get smoked that's totally okay though and um, so we're going to add in our potatoes now we've removed our bacon as well and popped that to the side we're adding in all of our slices of potatoes and we're now going to add in our milk and just keep giving it a stir through now and again just to make sure everything is mixed through well. Now I seem to have skipped the part where I added in the salt and pepper but I did actually put salt and pepper in here. So put in plenty of salt and pepper into your potatoes and onions before you add in the milk. And we're just going to give that a good stir through. We're now going to add in our stock um, as well. And we're going to stir that through so we're going to leave that to cook down so this is such an easy recipe we're just going to cook down our potatoes and we're going to take our bacon and pop that into an oven proof dish and while our potatoes are cooking we're going to pop this in the oven at about roughly 140 or so and that's a fan temperature and we're just going to crisp up our bacon just so that we can put it back into the soup nice and crispy so so once our potatoes are cooked through, we're going to add about three quarters of the soup into a blender and we're going to mash the rest of the pieces through. You can blend the entire soup if you want to, but I like to keep a little bit of chunky texture in there. So I have only taken out three quarters of the soup and I've mashed the remaining potatoes and onions just to create a little bit of texture in this soup. So we're adding our three quarters um, of the soup back in after it has been blended. Just be really careful dealing with hot liquids in the blender. And we're just adding in a splash of cream as well. Now you don't have to add in double cream if you don't want to. If you're watching the calories this January, you can skip the double cream. And we're just gonna give that a good mix through. So this is smelling delicious at this point and it looks lovely and thick. And I just love this soup, it's so good. And that is basically it. It is such an easy recipe, but it's so delicious on a cold winter's day. So we're just going to chop up our bacon now into little pieces. And we're going to serve a bowl of this soup up in my lovely Scottish coconut bowl. <laughs> yeah, I'm kidding. That is not from Scotland. <laughs> um, and we're going to um, just add our bacon on the top there as well. And you can put a sprinkle of parsley on here too and add a little bit of extra black pepper. Um, this soup is lovely served up with some fresh crusty bread um, or even some oat cakes or some fresh um, Scottish bannocks as well would also work really well. And I'm sure, you, sure you'll agree it looks delicious. Now being an Irish soup you could also serve up with some delicious Irish soda bread and I have a recipe for that up on my blog. I'll put a link down below in the description box for the soda bread. It is also so easy to make and you could make it alongside this as this soup is cooking as well. So I hope you enjoyed this lovely recipe and um, if you did please feel free to give a, th a big thumbs up that helps me reach more people with this delicious recipe and if you have not subscribed if you click that subscribe button and the little bell next to it I will see you guys again soon. I'm also over on Instagram so feel free to pop over and say hello and if you pop onto my website you can pick up a copy of my free cookbook. So lots of love, take care, bye bye.